I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Today, you're going to learn about GoPro ProTune Flat Color. Why would flat color be better? Flat is less color. Why would you ever want less color? I'm going to tell you. A quick disclaimer before we start. Uh, I've been doing this series of videos with the idea of making them applicable to any camera that you happen to be using, whether that's a GoPro or a Xiaomi Yi or a Foxeer Legend or an SJ4000, whatever. I've tried to make uh, the, it not focus exclusively on the GoPro feature set, although obviously it focuses some on the GoPro feature set. But things like what bit rate is a good bit rate and uploading to YouTube, what, what streaming rate is best for YouTube, that applies no matter what. But this one is exclusive to GoPro because this is a feature that only the GoPro has. Well, that's not true, actually. Uh, you you can get for the Xiaomi Yi, for example, you can get a script like the like the Superview script. You can get a script that attempts to emulate ProTune Flat, and I'm you know maybe there's other cameras out there that do a similar thing. But we're going to talk specifically about GoPro ProTune Flat in this video. What is GoPro ProTune Flat? Well, I think the best way to demonstrate what it is is to take you over and just show you an example. We'll tell you what it does, and then we'll talk about why it does it. In order to find examples comparing ProTune Flat to standard GoPro Color, I did a little bit of web searching and I found this great website, HaveCameraWillTravel.com. It's the website of David Coleman Photography. And I hope, I don't think he's going to mind me using his website to show you guys this. That's probably why he put the website up, right? So we can see in this picture, uh, this is standard GoPro Color, and we can compare that to ProTune Flat, which is, I would say that it is uh, lighter shadows, less contrast, and desaturated colors. Good standard color, ProTune Flat. He's got a few more examples. We can just compare them. Standard color, ProTune Flat. Standard color. Notice the shadows are darker in standard color. Standard, ProTune Flat. So you're starting to get the gist of it, I imagine. Standard. ProTune Flat. Why would you want a less contrasty, desaturated image? I mean, isn't that, I mean, I think you'd agree that those images, the ProTune Flat images, were worse looking than the GoPro Color images. Uh, and, and that's because ProTune Flat images are not intended to be used in that format. They're not intended to be used. They're not the finished product. Here's the analogy I like to use to explain it. If you're going to dye your hair, guys, you dye your hair? No. Ladies, dye your hair? If you're going to dye your hair, the first thing you do if you have dark hair is you bleach it blonde so that it'll take the color. If you're going to paint a wall, the first thing, if you, the wall is red. You're not going to paint over a red wall. You're going to paint the wall white. You're going to do some kind of a primer. You're going to paint it a neutral color like a white or a gray, and then you're going to paint the color over the top of it. And that's what ProTune Flat is. ProTune Flat is the, the neutral colored wall that you put the paint on top of. If you're going to apply effects to the image, then you want it to be as neutral as possible. When GoPro Color makes those shadows nice and dark, and it looks like a nice contrasty image, information is lost that you can't get back. If you go and you try and tweak the curves, the contrast and so forth, on an image that's already been processed that way, nothing comes back. The shadows just get, they get lighter, but the details that were lost in the shadows can't be brought back. So by creating this flat image, what GoPro is trying to do is retain as much information as possible so that you then have a full sort of palette to work with when you're doing your post-processing. And that's the purpose of it. Let me show you an example. Here I'm working in Premiere and I'm working in the color workspace and I've got a clip pulled up and I've picked a specific frame. I picked this frame because it's got some brightly lit areas over here on the right, but it's also got some shadows over here on the left. And, and you can see that those shadows are pretty dark. In fact, if I go ahead and let's see, zoom in a little bit on those shadows, you can see that there's not a lot there. A little bit there, but not a lot. Now I can try to tweak this image and this is, let me just say, I am not a colorist. I, I have a basic background. I did a lot of photography in college, so I'm not a complete idiot when it comes to things like, like contrast and so forth. But anybody out there who's a colorist, just please, just plug your ears, okay? I'm, I'm just a hack. 
but I, hopefully I'm enough of a hack that I can educate a few people who are even no more noobish than me. Okay, disclaimer applied. I'm going to go in here and uh, let's see if I can just lift these shadows a little bit and bring some of the detail out. So I'm going to take, for example, the shadow slider. Let's just see what happens if I raise that up. You can see that those shadows are getting lighter and maybe we can see a few more details in them. Uh, it's not, that's not too bad actually. That's but Protune is not just about adjusting exposure, it's also about color timing. This is, that is, creating a certain uh, color look, a certain look to the film. Let me, uh, let me show you what that means. If I go to Creative here, I can pick from this pull-down list of looks. And let me just show you right over here on the right as I step through what those looks are going to do. So here's a look. Let's find something that's actually reasonably attractive. Here's a look. I don't know if we would actually want our footage to look this way, but you could imagine if a certain stylized thing where it might be good to make it look that way. But here's the thing. Because this is already got a strong color content, when we apply the look, we're not going to get necessarily the best result. Things will be kind of oversaturated and overdone. Let's take a look at what happens when we're working with a Protune flat file. Here's a Protune flat file. And I've selected another frame where we've got these shadows coming across and so forth. And you can immediately see, here I'll zoom in for you, you can immediately see that the shadows are, you got a lot more detail in the shadows. The shadows are not as dark, uh, they're not as blacked out. And what that means, if I want to adjust the, the, the con, if I want to adjust the exposure and so forth, I can certainly choose to take those shadows and darken them up, right? I have the option to do that and to make this look more like the other the other film did but if i want the shadows to be a little lighter i can bring that out as well i have a lot more option to tweak this exactly how i want it and that same thing is true not just of the exposure but also of the creative looks so if i go here and i apply a creative look the result that i'm going to get is going to be consistent with the look itself whatever that might be let's pick one. Oh, there's one and it's not going to be colored, haha, <laughs> no pun intended, by the choices that the GoPro made when it was recording the file. And we can go and we can just pick one of these looks that we like. And because the incoming information is more neutral, we're going to get a, a better result. This will look the way that the developer intended, the developer of this look intended, and not the way that, and not some other way. In fact, what we're looking at, and I actually downloaded this just for this video so I could demonstrate it to you, is this is a GoPro lookup tables color grading pack. These are 40 plus presets for, and they're, they're designed to go on top of the Protune flat uh, profile. So we can see down here in the examples, each of them is designed to give a specific look to the footage and it's it, on the assumption that the incoming file is GoPro flat, so you'll get consistent results if you consistently shoot with Protune flat and then apply these uh, creative looks to the footage. And that is, in essence, what GoPro Protune flat is. It is a neutral, consistent look to the, to the recording that is then used to either apply your own creative effects on top of or to apply pre-made creative effects uh, and get a consistent result. The real question that many of you are asking is, should I use this? And the answer is, if you are not doing post-processing in something like Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve or whatever you've got, then no, you should use GoPro Color because Protune Flat, it's not intended for consumption directly. It's intended as the input to a color grading process. If you are doing that kind of work, then uh, you have to ask yourself, whether that whether you want to do this or not uh, because many people who are doing this kind of editing they look at gopro uh, standard color and they go yeah it looks fine it looks great and i just want to i want to cut it i want to upload it and i want to get on to the next thing but if you were looking at those creative looks and going oh that is pretty cool if you're the kind of person who likes tweaking all the knobs and dials and making making the footage look exactly like you want it to then yeah shoot in protune flat I have uh, very recently said I, I don't like using Protune Flat because I have too busy of a production schedule. The GoPro Color is fine, and I just like I just like to spit it out, cut it, and upload it, and get on with my day. But I gotta say, and some of you guys are gonna go, "Yep, uh huh, I told you so." Okay, fine, good for you. Uh, I gotta say that in the process of making this video and exploring Protune Flat a little bit more, 
I kind of I kind of like it. I'm probably going to shoot in Pro Tune Flat more going forward. Um, it's not that hard to tweak it a little bit. The only the only uh, complaint I have a little bit is that especially if you're going like into the trees and out of the trees and so forth, it can be a little hard to get a consistent result. Whereas letting the GoPro just automatically do everything uh, sometimes I think gives a little better result. But overall, I do like the flexibility of Protune Flat when I've got the time to do it. And playing with those custom color looks was pretty freaking cool, I will say. So, yeah. And that's going to do it for this one. That is GoPro ProTune Flat. Hope you know more than you did when you started. And if you don't know more than you did when you started, that means you're a smart person. So hopefully you'll help other people out in the comments. Aha, uh -huh, see? Yeah, you smart people. Now you're going to get it. <laughs> Thanks for watching and happy flying.